This segment of Up and Adam is brought to you by Country Financial. Good morning, Twin Cities. Up and Adam. I'm Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. Good morning, everybody. The show produced, of course, by Lump. Happy, Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Way Happy. to trample all over me. Sorry, Lump. didn't mean to trample. Lump. The show produced by Lump. Her real name is Samantha Sansevier. What's Thank going you. on, Lump? Not too much, Jack. Thank okay, you. so when given the opportunity to speak, we get nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> On the show today, we're going to talk to Noah Williams with the uh, Wisconsin Policy Research Institute. He's an economist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, had a piece about the border battle, border war between Wisconsin and Minnesota and over uh, whose economy is doing better, who's got the better policies. And we'll find out from him if we're winning or if we're losing to Wisconsin. At 7.30, Speaker of the House Kurt Doubt will be joining us over the phone Talk about where the negotiations with uh, Governor Fingerpaint are. Mm-hmm. And at 8 o'clock, we'll talk with the chair of the Anoka County Board, Rhonda Sivaraja, about how, among other things, but there's a piece in the uh, Star Tribune about how the counties have to pick up yet even more slack yep. on Minshur. Yeah, it's, uh, it's causing real problems for Minnesota counties all over the state. How is it that a, a massive federal program is... We're a lot of money spent in the federal level, mm-hmm. but the it seems like the actual work and even more money being spent locally. Because that's how, you know, massive centralized government works. They just come, they're, they're idea people, Jack. Well, they're the worst kind of people in the world. They're the idea people. They're the worst. Right. They come up with the big ideas. You know what you should do. And then they tell everybody else to, uh, to execute them. What if? And they don't yeah. give them the resources. Yeah. 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 Lump for president. Yeah. <laughs> That's Lump exactly how you operate. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I live my life. <laughs> you know what everybody else should do? <laughs> they should do this. Only problem is people in the federal government have the ability to make that law. <laughs> I should be in the government. Here's a fun game we can play. Uh, we'd have to write up a quiz or something on like the last eight years of Barack Obama's presidency. Mm-hmm. Which uh, Twin Cities talk show host are you? <laughs> <laughs> That was a great quiz. That was a great quiz. That was a great quiz. I got Jack Tomzak. A lot of people did on that one. That's why you should never trust online user-generated anything. Two years ago? Was it two years ago? A while ago, Lump, I put together a um, um, which Twin Cities talk show host radio personality are you quiz. Can I make a guess at what all the answers were? No. Okay. Because it's pretty apparent. <laughs> and people were so confused and then angry. And then angry. <laughs> no, we could put a quiz together of all the big decisions that President Obama uh, has made. Mm-hmm. We'll make it like a, a multiple choice or something and, and give Lump some other options and see if she would have made better choices, better decisions as president than our current president. I actually think that's a cool idea. Yeah. And you're... Tall. I have confidence in you, too. Do you? I think you would have done a better job. Wow. That's 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 remarkable. <laughs> what is 21 minus 7? 14? I think so. Okay. So some of these decisions, you'll have to pretend you're a 14-year-old lump when you made them. I don't know. Have a couple shots before the quiz or something. Yeah, yeah. You Still better. That's, that's generally a good idea. Yeah, yeah. All right, I did... Absolutely nothing between yesterday and today. I did I've very little nothing as well. To share. It was nothing nice. unique. Nothing it was fun. I mowed the lawn. Did you? See, I didn't even do that. I also did nothing. I got home yesterday around 3 p.m. and I went to sleep <laughs> until like 8 p.m. After you came back and fixed the podcast. Yeah. 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 Good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just do the podcast right the first time? <laughs> just save you the trip. <laughs> I don't know radio. Yeah. Okay. No, I had a, uh, I had a well, nice afternoon. Well, the lawn afternoon. took a nap. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I, I did not take a nap or anything, but I just, uh, you know, it was it was weird. Yesterday, because I had overslept and I rushed in here and I got here right before the show started, kind of threw my whole whole day off. Yeah. You know, I, I felt more rested because I'd gotten like two extra hours of sleep, uh-huh. which was nice. Yeah. Uh, but no, I just had a nice, quiet, uh, quiet afternoon at the house. Didn't do a whole lot, you know, just chilled, enjoyed the weather, sat out on the deck, smoked a cigar. 
So I don't. Uh, <laughs> the next three minutes. Ah, I kid, because I am a professional, radio professional. I'm prepared for this. My wife and I often talk about how we'd love to move to Florida. Our my in-laws are down there, so we're they're, they're down there half the year. So we get down there from time to time. Less so now because we've got two kids, and flying is a living hell. But we often think about moving down there because we always have such a good time. And I don't know if it's because it's on vac- if we're on vacation. Mm-hmm. Just Florida's a nicer place with nicer people. And when my internet starts to work, <laughs> I will share the story with you. Here's the weird thing about Florida. The, the reason why there's so many Florida man bits mm-hmm. and there's always a joke about all this weird stuff that happens in Florida and Florida gets this reputation, it's not because so much more weird stuff happens in Florida as mm-hmm. compared to everybody else. Every mm-hmm. place, Every place has... People that have bizarre crimes. There was a manhunt in my hometown over the weekend. Yeah, but Florida's got a law that, like, every police record is public record. And so basically the media in Florida, their their job's easy. So they just go and they find the weirdest things that are on the police record. Everything Everything that happens is accessible to the media. So they print every story that comes across and they find every bizarre crime and they make a story out of it, and then it, you know, gets picked up by FARC and other places, mm-hmm. and it turns into a to a, a meme of Florida man. Well, there's see, there there is a one consistent uh, theme that runs through Florida uh, on why that it, it's a bad place to live, and that of course is alligators. 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 Lakeland. Where's that? Southeast corner. No, Lakeland North is east central. Corner? Central. Central corner. Yeah. Central east. Central ish. By Lakeland. Near Lakeland. <laughs> Lakeland police spokesman, uh, Lakeland, Florida. Police in central Florida, I should have read the story, are trying to figure out how an alligator got a hold of a body. Because <laughs> it was hungry? Lakeland police spokesman Gary Gross, <laughs> not that Gary Gross, says officers responded to Lake Hunter on Tuesday afternoon following a report of an alligator with a body in its mouth. Yeah. Officers were able to retrieve the body. That's good. And Gross says a trapper was called to capture the eight-foot reptile. Gross says the body appears to be an adult male, but police weren't sure. Oh. It wasn't known if the alligator killed the person or simply found the dead body. Which Kill- is another neat thing about Florida. Yeah. They're just lying around. <laughs> Gross said a medical examiner will have to determine the cause of death. I'm leaning toward alligator. I'm leaning toward alligator as well. Point. Alligators are vicious. Mm-hmm. They're scary. But don't most people know to avoid them? I mean, how well, do you get like, caught up in that situation? Well, I mean, know that not, it happens, it, but... If they're you're, a log until they're not, right? Yeah, if yeah. you're near water in Florida, you're near an alligator. There's no okay. avoiding alligators in Florida. They're everywhere. That's terrifying. They're everywhere. If you're swimming in fresh water, you can be... You can rest assured knowing that you're probably within 20 feet of an alligator. Oh, thank goodness. I would never <laughs> swim in fresh water. Yeah. Ever. You're either, you're either near a manatee or an alligator. One or the other. It's like the but show. But the manatees are so much better than the alligators. Why would you even compare the two? Why wouldn't you say shark or Ma- alligator? <laughs> because you're probably not near a shark if you're in fresh water in Florida. Well, okay. I don't go to the ocean because that is where sharks live. And I want to avoid being eaten by sharks. So I've just taken the step and I've decided no ocean. Mm-hmm. Um, no fresh water in Florida either. Swimming pools. Swimming pools. Yeah, very you small. See very swimming small pools. swimming pools. <laughs> where you can see everything. <laughs> and then people in Florida will keep alligators in their swimming pools. Like on purpose? Why? Yes. Why? I had what? a neighbor when I was growing up. Uh, a friend of mine lived about three houses down. Uh, caught a little baby alligator <sighs> and thought, oh, I'm going to bring it home and keep I'm it in my pool. I'm going to start making Did bad they have decisions a... with my life. Yeah. <laughs> Did they have? He's still alive. The alligator? No, the guy that made that decision. It's huh. shocking. At what point did he get rid of it? I don't remember. Did he I have stopped a s- going over there. Did he, wait, oh, we're not I've, friends anymore. I have a lot of questions about this. Oh, did, he have a, did he have a saltwater pool? No. You, alligators are freshwater. And well, yeah, they, but they not, they're not chlorinated water. It wasn't chlorinated. And they don't, it was just a pool of water? It was just a nasty pool that that's nobody gross. goes in. Yeah. That's gross. Okay. Yeah, alligators that's, could live in soup. That person is gross. <laughs> That's why I stopped going over there. Because <laughs> it's smart. Very <laughs> the wise. The grossness started it to the alligator. This is the that same friend enough. that tricked me into eating a, uh, there was this, this tray of what looked like white chocolate. When we return, what was Andrew <laughs> tricked into eating plus what's coming up in the news bag?